Convocation is now in session. As Chancellor, it is my pleasure to welcome you to our 311th Convocation. Before we proceed with the ceremony, I'd like to call upon Professor Margaret McGlynn to present Western University's Land Acknowledgement. I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge that our beautiful Western campus is situated on the traditional territories of the Anishinaabe, Haudenosaunee, Lenape, and Attawandaran peoples, who have long-standing relationships to the land and region of southwestern Ontario and the City of London. The local First Nation communities of this area include Chippewa of the Thames First Nation, Oneida Nation of the Thames, and Muncie Delaware Nation. In the region, there are 11 First Nation communities and a growing indigenous urban population. Western values the significant historical and contemporary contributions of local and regional First Nations and all of the original peoples of Turtle Island, also known as North America. Miigwech. To all our graduates, first let me say congratulations. You've worked hard to achieve this. Graduation represents a major milestone in your lives. At Convocation, we assemble as a university committee, community to celebrate and recognize your achievements at Western and to wish you every success for the future. Your learning days are far from over. Learning is a lifelong process. Western has not provided you with answers to all questions. At most, we hope that what stays with you is a way of thinking objectively, approaching problems with an open mind, and a healthy respect for new ideas, all tempered with compassion and empathy for the human condition. You are forever a cherished member of this great university, founded more than a century ago. We welcome you into the Western family. Again, congratulations to each and every one of you. Today, we also confer an honorary degree upon Paul Herbert. Hebert. His acknowledgement of his world-renowned accomplishments as an exceptional biologist who has made significant contributions to the study of biodiversity. His outstanding, groundbreaking research on DNA barcode analysis has become an international pillar for research in biodiversity. To present our distinguished candidate, I now call upon Professor Emeritus Brock Fenton, Faculty of Science. Thank you very much, sir. It's a real pleasure to present Paul Haber to you. Paul Haber is an extraordinary and diverse biologist with an extraordinary record of innovation. As a student, he studied evolution, the process of speciation, and one of the things that he had found, as many others have, very frustrating, is the amount of time it takes biologists to name and identify and describe new species. Not surprisingly, this led him to develop the DNA Barcode of Life project, which provided an alternative approach gives records of the details of how many different kinds of organisms there are, how many species, and does so in a way that is repeatable and can be widely used. And of course, other advances in technology have made this a much less expensive endeavor than it would have been at one time. It's interesting that something that sounds as esoteric as DNA barcode analysis might make you think you got in the wrong line at the grocery store. But that's one of the places where this technique can be valuable. When you go to purchase something, is it what the label says it is? Is that really a monkfish or perhaps it's something else? And perhaps you would actually like to know. Is that really a chicken or perhaps it's something else? And these are important decisions that you make where you depend on somebody having accurately identified what has been harvested and then presented to you as food. Now, as someone who studies bats, I think the most important part of DNA barcode analysis is allowing people like myself to know exactly what kinds of insects the bat has eaten. This gives bat biologists an opportunity to explore many different aspects of their ecology and evolution. My colleague, Professor McNeil, who will do the hooding, is an entomologist and he has a slightly different view of bats. In any event, Mr. Chancellor, on behalf of the Vice Chancellor and in the name of the Senate, 
I ask you to confer the degree Doctor of Science Honoris Causa on Paul D. N. Heber. Thank you. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chancellor, I admit you to the degree of Doctor of Science Honoris Causa. Congratulations, Dr. Heber. Thank you, sir. Thank you. On behalf of all assembled here today, I should now like to invite our newest alumnus, Dr. Paul Hebert, to address convocation. Mr. Chancellor, it's a great honor to become uh, an alumnus of Western University, together with the other scholars who are going to cross the stage in a few moments. This degree means a lot to me because of an event, in part because of an event that happened a long time ago. When I was just 11 years old, I received an, an encyclopedia, a scientific encyclopedia for Christmas. And in it, it described how you could manipulate the size of insects by uh, adding or subtracting endocrine glands. And I thought, this is a cool idea. I need to find out how to do this. And so I sent letters off to three universities. I sent a letter to Queens, I sent a letter to Western, I sent a letter to Toronto. I got an answer from all of the universities, which I find pretty remarkable, but the first university to respond was Western. Your professor Brown, A.W.A. Brown, wrote me a letter and sent me a packet of reprints that was my first exposure to the scientific literature, and I've always been grateful for that gesture, uh, that reach out uh, to a very young kid who had a passion for science but didn't know how to realize it. Over the decades since then, I've had a chance uh, to work. I've had students from this great university who've worked with me, has done their graduate work with me. I've worked with a fantastic faculty at this university, and so my experience has broadened and my respect for this university has deepened. There's no question in my mind that Western is one of the world's great universities. I'm sure this view is universally shared by all of you who are graduating today, who have put in a lot of hard work over the last three or four years, or maybe five, to get this degree. Congratulations. You're the real justification for this ceremony. So I want to focus the rest of my remarks towards you. Days such as this hold great symbolic importance in a life. They naturally cause one to look to the past and to the future. But how do you parse a life by the day? by the year, or by some longer interval. Biologists aren't very good at answering questions like this, so I look for inspiration somewhere else. Leonard Cohen. If you take a look at Leonard Cohen's anthology, it begins, he really traces uh, a life from the youthful beauty of Suzanne through to the uh, tough end of life experience in Do You Want It Darker? His lyrics draw power from religious allegory so I thought that might be a good place to look as well for some direction on how one might view life. And if you look at Psalms 90, Moses describes our lifespan as three score years and 10. And he adds, and if by reason of strength they be four score years, it's soon cut off. Isn't it remarkable that words written 3,500 years ago still apply today, despite the rise of modern medicine? The message from Moses is clear. Don't plan on having more than about 80 years to complete the things you want to complete. Well, given its fixed de de duration, how do we parse life? For the day, year, decade, special, special events like this certainly merit celebration. But if I were asked to think about how I look at life, it would be on a decadal basis, decade by decade. 
When you view life like that, you've got seven or eight slices. The first slice was critical. It was the one that moved you from a blank slate to an operating system that was pretty effective, not operating with a lot of efficient uh, independence. It was critical. You need to thank your parents. You really need to thank your parents. It's the most critical phase in life. It got you along this trackway. And your next slice, that was the one that allowed you to really become independent. Your friends, your teachers, your family, your professors. That was slice two. And now, I think maybe some of you feel as you're entering slice three that your CPU may be overflowing. No more facts. But this is some, a, a really, really important slice of life because you're at a point that's a real transition. Up until now, you've been a receiver. You've been receiving from society, from your parents, from your family, and now all of a sudden, you're going to move from receiver to contributor. The celebration certainly celebrates more than just the facts you've accumulated here. The next slice is gonna be a great testing ground. It's gonna be a time where you're gonna explore options and you're gonna discover a career that couples hopefully employment with satisfaction. Get this slice right and your life, the rest of your life is going to unfold in a very a positive way. Next slice, you'll find a partner, you'll add a kid or two you build your career in the fifth slice while balancing family responsibility. Your sixth slice will bring career achievement. And the next will allow maybe a second round of family interaction as your grandchildren appear. And if you're granted an eighth slice, you'll be able to add scintillating perspectives to any conversation. To today's graduates, I say you picked a suburb time and place for life. You're living in the greatest nation on earth at the most magical time in human history. As you grew up with Harry Potter and Hogwarts, I guess I maybe should qualify a little bit what I mean about magic. I'm using it to signify the fact that there's no difference between magic and advanced scientific technologies. Science brings the impossible into everyday life. As members of the iGen, you're used, you take the internet as a given. But as someone who spent the third slice of his life waiting for an airmail letter, it's white magic. Your lives are going to witness an unrivaled pace of technological change. This is inevitable because there are more magicians now than at any time in human history. In fact, many of you in the sciences will surely practice this magic, while those of you in the social sciences are going to need to guide its smart usage. It's important to remember the key role of universities. They aren't simply places where knowledge is transmitted. They're alive with magicians. Western is Hogwarts on steroids. <laughs> I've had the chance to practice much magic. For the past 20 years, my research group has employed advances in DNA sequencing and computational technology to advance biodiversity science. We'll soon complete a task that the scientific community has pursued for a quarter of a millennium. We'll actually complete the inventory of life on our planet, and we'll also activate a global biosurveillance system. This capability comes at a key time because we're threatening the millions of species that share our planet. In fact, unless we change our ways, a third of them may be lost before the end of this century. Think about that. Um, think about the possibility of the stars in the heavens, a third of them going dark within your lifetime. That's what we're confronting with life on this planet. <clears throat> Here in Canada, it's a little bit difficult perhaps to appreciate these impacts because we live in one of the wildest places on earth. Our nation comprises 7% of the land area, but we've only got 0.5% of the population. If you move to other countries, you find that most other wildernesses are under assault. For a simple reason, the quest to support humanity, the needs of a species that's been rising radically in abundance. When I was born, <clears throat> there were about 2 billion people on earth. Today, there are more than 7 billion. By mid-century, there'll be <clears throat> 10 billion the weight of humanity threatens planetary health. Our impacts are already so obvious. Oceans acidifying and plasticizing, temperatures rising, ice melting, and biodiversity collapsing. 
The great scientist Stephen Hawking delivered one of his last presentations at a conference I was at last uh, June in Norway. He concluded we need an exit strategy within a century, a Mars base to provide a refuge for our species in case of ecosystem collapse here on Earth. To avert this unacceptable future, we need to make magic and we need to make it fast. <clears throat> we need to begin by reducing human populations. That's old magic. We just need to deploy birth control in a regimented way. We need to shift from carbon to renewable energy. Rapid advances in solar and wind technologies are making this possible. We need a transition, much agriculture from fields to greenhouses, to raise production without consuming more land. Where field cultivation is the only option, we need to do it in a kinder way. <clears throat> Replace pesticides and herbicides with robots that can control weeds and pests with a laser blast. We need incentives for wild and restoration. Above all, we must declare peace with nature. Because the investments to protect our world are so trivial in comparison with the costs imposed by its devastation, I'm confident action will be taken. But there's a need for leadership. It's time for Canada to show some swagger, to shift from joining projects launched by other nations to leading the effort to protect our planet. We don't need to look far for talent. You're perfectly qualified. Please consider using this slice of your lives to help ensure planetary preservation. You've been well trained at Western. Go and make magic. Your children will thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Paul, for your inspiring address. As one of Canada's leading scientists, and may I say, leading magician, you have helped us understand biodiversity in new ways through DNA barcode analysis. This groundbreaking research is a pillar for international research in biodiversity and has enabled scientists worldwide to identify new and existing species in a reliable manner. We are proud to count to you now as one of our distinguished graduates. Distinguished guests, please join me in congratulating Western's newest honorary Doctor of Science, Dr. Paul Hever. <laughs> Will the candidates for degrees, diplomas, and certificates please rise? Mr. Chancellor, I'm very much honored to present to you the candidates who have successfully completed their academic programs at Western. I ask you to admit them to the degrees, diplomas, and certificates for which they have been recommended by the Senate of our university. Under the authority vested in me by the Senate, you will be admitted to the degrees, diplomas, and certificates as shall be announced by the public orators. Thank you, Mr. Chancellor. Will the candidates please be seated? Mr. Chancellor, graduating students, colleagues, distinguished guests, convocation is the single most important time of celebration in the life of the university. Today we honor those graduating students who through determination, hard work, and intelligence have met the demanding standards of a Western degree. Today is also a proud day for all of us associated with Western, including our Board of Governors and Senate, our faculty, our staff, and our friends in the community. It is wonderful to see so many members of our community of learning who have taken the time to join us and celebrate this important day in the lives of our graduates and the life of the university. Today, those of you crossing the platform join a special group known as Western Alumni. That numbers more than 290,000 alumni living in over 150 different countries around the world. We are pleased to have 
Ms. Cheryl Whip, representing our Alumni Association with us, and I'd ask her to please stand and be recognized. Western's Board of Governors is charged with responsibility for the overall governance of this institution. Today we have with us Dr. Jane Toswell, representing our Board of Governors, and I'd ask her to please stand and be recognized. I'd also like to acknowledge and thank the parents, spouses, partners, children, relatives, and friends of our graduates who are here with us today. This celebration would not have been possible without your loving support. I ask that our graduating class rise once again, turn around, face your family and friends, and give them a warm round of applause for supporting your journey. Now let me congratulate once again the remarkable students who graduate today with Western degrees. Today you become partners in outstanding academic achievement of the University of Western Ontario. My warmest wishes to each and every one of you. We will now proceed with the granting of the degrees and diplomas. Before we do so, I have two special requests for those of you in the audience. First, as a courtesy to all graduates and their families, Please hold your applause and other forms of expressions of joy <laughs> until the public auditors signals when applause is appropriate throughout the ceremony. What we would like to do is we'd like to recognize our graduates, as I indicated, each one is special, in groups so that uh, we can proceed in a timely fashion and show our respect for each of our graduates. And our public auditors will be standing to the left of the stage, to my left, to your right, and they'll be leading us in applauding our graduates when time comes. So I hope you'll respect my request. This will ensure that each graduate's name will be heard. Second, we know that photographs are important for graduates, their families, and friends. As you heard before the ceremony began, we are pleased to provide each graduate with a photograph of this special occasion. Therefore, we request that you remain in your seats throughout the ceremonies, and of course, feel free to take pictures from there. I now call on the public auditors to introduce the candidates for degrees. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science four-year program. Daniel Robert Allen, Yasmin Amin, Jeshurin Anaraja.
Jade Anderson, Alexandra Engel, Jennifer Anthony Palai. Hayden Thomas Roy Otterhoff, Dalen Badakshan, Matea Badark Bagarch. Viraj Bhatt, Erwin Bungaling, Kenneth Edmund Bradfield. Madison Barsanti, Kathleen Breeze, Taylor Louise Brown. Mariel Tamara Balkan Gernis. Larson Birchall, Leah Azevedo Cabral. Jingui Cao, Dana Marie Capilli, Megan Chapman. Bethany Cheng, Brian William Hoya, Tina Chu. Amadeus Chui, Maria Chibanka, Christopher Cosentino. Neil Courtney. Caroline Alexandra Cox, Andrew Cherwinski. Ryan DeBeer, Braden William Epp. Caitlin Fazio. Daniela Nicole Ferrari. Catherine Lauren Fielding. Natasha Ann Fletcher.
Connor Robert Forsyth, Mitchell R. Photo, Jacob Arthur Kenneth Fryer. Andrea Fung, Natasha Anna Maria Gosser, Miriam Gatre Samani. Catherine Ann Gilchrist, Marissa Giuliani, Danielle Graham. Adam David Grenier, Ariel Greenberg, Jonna Hackett Bryson. Shirley Haji, Katie May Harrison, Ifan He. <laughs> Mariah Helt, Sana Homsi. Kevin Hong. Jenny Hu, Shinshen Daphne Huang, Max Hubsher. Pearl Hung, Caitlin Kim Wynn, Harris Iftikar. Peter Wesley Jensen, Hanging Joe. Cindy Johnston. Karina Marie Caberi, Manreet Kaller, Ruth Ann Cavallars. Olivia Selena Kastecki, Jonathan Alexander Costi, Sophia Maria Kravitz. <laughs> Stephanie Michelle Lachance. Kadesh Lalu, Kristen Landon.
Julia Christine Lang, Patricia Denise Beza Lelo, Taylor LeBlanc. Cardiff Lee, Dong Hoon Lee, Wan Ryul Lee. Nicholas James Lemire, Everett Yuan Yong Leung. Ernest Yan Yi Li. Jeffrey Li. Shui Shu Li. Saiko Liu. Michelle Liu, Yi Liu, Mashabin Lupin. Stephanie Nicole McBean, Marie McDonald. Emily Alexandra Maloney. Juan Paolo Nepomusin Maranan. Sean Andrew Martin. Shabazz Masood. Sarah Louise McGrath, Jonah Medina, Shrumit Mehta. Fanlong Meng, Kyle Robert Moore, Cynthia Mutanu Muli. Cassandra Maria Munuz Ramos. Melanie Ng, Kim Nguyen Dang. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a very long degree group. Please join me in applauding those graduates who have crossed the stage thus far. Biomi, Chidinma Michaela Okwu, Un He Park.
Sangeet Parashar, Ashita Sunil Patel, Lankesh Patel. Brandon Joseph Papp, posthumously awarded, represented by his parents, Sean Papp and Barb Chero Papp. Pooja Anil Patel, Luisa Patina Otavaro, Diana Fan. Luisa Pike, Alina Pinsky, Alexandra Pocklington. Brandon Darren Portnoff, Natasha Pren, Khalil Uzaman Kadri. Jonathan Kiroga, Young, Young Chang Ra, Balia Rasias. Rabinthan Ravishandran, Vanessa Reca, Jose Carlos Rivera Fajardo. Obeda Rickies, Diana Rodriguez Escobar, Samuel Lawrence Rycroft. Arzo Saeed Farouk, Niketa Saini, Sonam Sapra. Lilia Shoot Utterkamp, Jessica Schultz, Carly Marie Searle, gold medalist. Scott Selvi, Junwan Su, Abby Rami. Sivanaisen. Nice 
Cheyenne Susanda, Jacqueline Samantha Stein, Julia Grace Stempowitz. James Andrew Stevenson, Jennifer Street, Rongchen Sun. Joshua Alan Suskin, Edward Tamale, Hegia Tong. Belen Yegza Tarekin, Gurkiran Kaur Tatla, Cooper Mineta Thomas. Ryan Thomas, Brooke Thorne, Natalie Tenaburi. David Wei Hun Shu, Claire Samantha Tully, Rachel Margaret Tweedy. Kristen Lydia Vandenbrink, Trevor John Veldman, Madeline Vieira Troke. Danielle Wallachow. Ika Washington, Cody Allen Welch. Melanie Wereja, Olivia Ann Weens, Hashani Danushki. We just like Hara. Megan Courtney Winger, Stephanie Vojtovich, Sue Yen. Versika Yogaswaran, Nathan John Yu, Andre Zekic. Xiao Zhang, Yishen Zhang, Boyi Zhu.
Wen Shui Zhu. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science, Foods and Nutrition, four-year program. <laughs> Jamie Cahill McMahon, Heidi Elizabeth Nelson, Nivaitha Yuthag Yak Kumar. Jia Yi Yang. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Bachelor of Arts. Joseph Shu. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Bachelor of Science. Sarah, Sarah Abigail Bazal, Eric, Eric Belrose, Carolina Budzik. William Joseph Buis, Petronella Anka Kamsa, Rakshith Gangaretti. <laughs> William Jeffrey Henry, <laughs> Yu Lin Huang, Talia Marie Jacob, or Mary Jacob. Michael Krzysztowski, Hongbo Lu, Jaron Francis Martin. Taylor Remy Matthews, Nicole Maria Poznov, Amanda Marion Lee Reed. Sean Michael Snyder. Matilla Somasundaram, gold medalist, Sarithi San Sundaralingam. Bogdan Vlad Surdu, Jacob Thomas, Abby Tong.
Natalie Wong, Dorinyu Wu, Hao Wu. Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates from the Faculty of Social Science for the degree Bachelor of Arts four-year program. Sarah Abraham, Mayor Ahmad, Paige Alexander. Candice Mary Ali, Victoria Laurel Anderson, Stefan Alexander Antonakos. Abi Arya, Veda Adenova, Alexander Aziz. Alexis E. Baba, Alexander Bartley, Alexis Lauren Bass. <laughs> Alyssa Beach, Wenzile Ben, Si Yao B. Nazreen Barani, Waylon Bomberry, Jonathan Patrick Bloomfield. Taylor Brousseau, Nicole Brunet, Mikhail Michael Rezoza. Spend Batici, Lauren Ray Cabral, Aaron Leslie Cantlin. Catherine Ann Jamison Capel, Kara Lee Carson Simpson, Courtney Janess Kavanaugh. Karishma Chuan, Li Wen Chen, Yinglun Chen. Man King Maurice Chu, Chantal Gabrielle Colina. Yeah. 
Riley Ross Collins. Madison Jacqueline Como, Claudia Marie Condato, Jasmine Alia Corday Watson, Victoria Page Delal, Victoria Davidson, Sophie Alexandra Maria Delambre. Pan Deng, Dominique Desjardins, Samantha Nicole Doris. Marylise Dubois, Daniel Dmitri Elyashevich, Elora Evans. Lee Kong Fang, Jessica Elizabeth Friend, Giancarlo Gallucci. Amira Garaba, Jana George, Raven Elizabeth Gladstone. Celeste Jocelyn Griffin, Yua Gu, Amara Gurm. <laughs> Tina Haji Sultani, Jordan He, Erica Herman. Sarah Hill, Carly Jackson, Kyungbae Jang. G.R.A. Jung, Amanda Henderson Jones. Ariana Karakatsanis. David Karstadt, Lucas Kasman, Sidney Kersner. Jazz Karan Kural, Dustin Zane Quinter, Roman Ladich. Mm -hmm. 
Sean Joseph Lalman, Anne Noella Lehman, Anita Levitas. Noah Jacoby Lewis, Rose Alexandra Lewis, Jayun Lee. Xingyan Li, Sichi Li. Crystal Ling. <laughs> Don Chi Liu, Yi Lin Liu, Yu Jiao Liu. Joshua Eldon Lomex, Marin Alexandra Wild Lorimer, Tu Ha Lee. Sarah Noel Mackey, Emily Catherine Mancini, Joshua Jerry Marich. Jessica Marie Mason, Emily Christina McCausland, Blair Nelson McDougall. Haley McGrath, Lana Brina McElwain, Anna Mary McQuaig. Jordan Menace, Negar Mohammed Vali Samani, Lindue Katso Makete. Jordan Matthew Monticchio, Alicia May Moore, Kaylee Laura Morin. Christopher Morrison, Ibrahim Mustafa, Dylan Mavasaji. <laughs> Prabjot Singh Mukar, Alicia Kaur Malay. Christopher Brian Murray.
Colleen Ruth Murray, Courtney Jade Nelligan, Emma Carson Newman. Madison Ellerine O'Hara, Alan Chase Oliver, Dion Pajovic. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a large degree group and I think the excitement is building, so let's have a round of applause for the graduates who've crossed the stage. Nicole Park, Christina Dale Melizzeri, and Hao Peng. Maria Zareen Kazi, Arshna Rajasiri, Jill Rickenbrack, okay. Riley Richard Ryer. Julie Marianne Christel Robitaille Compan. <laughs> Leslie Rigari. <laughs> Carmel Rukiza. Jenny G. Wan Ru, Megan Salmon, Simmerit Saru, Carly Scott, Shelby Servant. Nicole Shapiro, Charlie Schechter, Waverly Shin. Elliot Finley Simpson, Zuber Singh, Rachel Strebrolo, gold medalist. Carolyn St. Michelle, Kelly St. Marie, Kari Steiner. Shannon Stewart, Sandra Solomon, C. Song,
Presley Jennifer Sudant, Adam Sawinski, Andrew Stoikos, Kristen Barbara Swintak, Catherine Taylor, Taylor Valerie Thompson, <laughs> Tara Lynn Tilford, Clinty Tarani, Aaron Kate Turpin. Sydney Eva Noel Teitler. Peter John Van Bussel. Christopher Leo Van Delft. Emma Nicole Van Everendingen. Taylor Brian Vaughan. Luis Antonio Vera. Tiona Denisha Wade. Madison Wagman. Matthew R. Walker. Jassi Wong. Rolin Wong. Jintong Wong. Jinxi Wong, Kayla Michelle Jacqueline Widdish, Brandon Nicholas Wiseman, Julia Grace Williamson, Damon Williams Ralston, Jacqueline Wong. Sarah Y. Yu Wu. Erin Susanna Yanyas, Yun Chao Yang, <coughs> Yu Yu, Claire Yun, Elizabeth A. Zeppa. Shaudi Zhang, Xin Zhang, Yu Shang Wei Zheng, <laughs> K. 
Kira Louise Latik, Fan Chi Zhu, Zhi Zhang Zhu, Mr. Chancellor, the following are candidates for the degree Bachelor of Arts. Lucianne Abuatala, gold medalist. Colin Peter Ertz. Adam M. Ali. Taylor Ali, Ali Rad Talat Al Nakib, Pavninder Atwal, Michelle Lynn Atkinson, Lucy Brenda Aud. Arjan Bamra. Michael Bell Castro. Sam Bishop. Madison Chesney. Deirdre Susan Schimmick, Victoria Marie Clark, Christina Colonna, Francesca Marie Coretti. Stuart George Richard Craddock, Ryan Alman Creelman, Cameron Robert Duan, Haley Bo Dorian Bach. John Wei Fan. Win Yin Letitia Fan. Nancy Jane Fedick. Jerry Gu. Chen Wan Guo, Hurry Tekle Hassan Benabi, Briar Ainsley Hind. Gorav Jagota, Matthew Allen Johnson, Jaysuk Jung. Mm -hmm. 
Shauna Kejigo Nichols, Isaiah Gordon Kelly, Jake Lalani, Sijun Ma, Richard McDougall, Adam David McIntosh, Gabrielle Morin, Tala Mukhtar, Gaulini Mutia, Stephen Owen, Cherie Plain. Rafid Maboub Rashik. Sheila Scrokey, Kevin Searle, Kelly Semchism, Gregory Speller. Xiaohui Sun, Andre Silvasi, Kimberly Trudgeon. Christopher George Cerebus, Julianne Vu, Alexander Wilson, Kay Shu, Fang Zhang. Chin Zhou, Francis Snatterak. In the name of the Senate, I grant to the Registrar the authority to confer degrees, diplomas, and certificates to those candidates whose names appear in the official program but who are not present today. At this time, I invite Ms. Cheryl Whipp, representing our Alumni Association, to say a few words. Graduates, on behalf of Western's Alumni Association, 
it is my honor to welcome you as our newest members. You join a growing global community of Western alumni, numbering more than 293,000, and we are one of the largest among Canadian universities. Western, our faculties and affiliated university colleges are very proud of its world-class standing and we know that you share that pride as graduates or our, of our undergraduate and graduate programs. As alumni, we are united by the memories of our time here and particularly of the knowledge and the friendships that we have gained. The Alumni Association is dedicated to fostering and preserving those important bonds through the many programs, services, and networking opportunities that are offered. Immediately following this ceremony, you and your family and friends are invited to attend a reception in your honor hosted by the Alumni Association where each graduate will be bestowed with their class of 2018 PIN. It will be held in the University Community Centre Mustang Lounge and we look forward to seeing you. From Western alumni, may I offer sincere congratulations on your achievement today and very best wishes for your future. Before closing convocation, I wish to express my appreciation to all who have contributed to the success of the day. In particular, and on your behalf as well, I want to thank the University of Western Ontario Convocation Brass for their magnificent performance and their director, Professor James Mackay. May I request that the audience remain at their seats while the academic procession leaves the hall. Convocation is now adjourned.